Think of the biggest waves you've ever seen. Double it. Make it more ferocious. Those waves look like ripples next to these monstrous mega waves that are as high as eight-story buildings flying towards you. These are some of the biggest waves caught on camera and some of the most terrifying sights you might ever witness. These heavy swells barreling to the shore at hundreds of miles an hour are just another reminder that while the massive expanse of the ocean is a place of immense beauty, it is also the great unknown, full of untold danger. One, MV Columbus on the Bay of Biscay. We'll be starting this video with the massive storm that hit the legendary MV Columbus cruise line on the Bay of Biscay. The gulf situated along the western coast of France and extending into the Spanish border has a reputation for some of the stormiest weather in the Western Hemisphere, especially during the cold winter months. This is due to a couple of factors. The Bay of Biscay is located in a sweet spot between the warmer Atlantic waters and the cold polar winds. During the winter periods, the warm water from the North Atlantic drift converges with the cold air from the North Pole. This marriage of the extremes is ideal for the formation of extreme weather and leads to the development of strong winds and large waves. Add to this the shallow depth of the bay to worsen the impact of this tempestuous weather and you have the makings of a perfect storm. The MV Columbus would witness the power of these storms firsthand at the start of 2020. The ship was on its world cruise on the 9th of January 2020 when it ventured into the bay and got caught up in a massive one. Right as the cruise liner was approaching the eye of the storm, it got hit by a gigantic wave. This wave was at least several tens of feet high, if not more, reaching more than eight decks above the ship's water level. For a few seconds, the monster wave partially submerged the imposing cruiser, tilting it nose first in a ferocious hold. But just as quickly as it appeared, it retreated back into the waters, thankfully leaving behind no casualties and minimal damage to the ship. Two MS Maud off the coast of Denmark. Our next mega wave encounter also takes place in European waters and also with a cruise ship, but this time at the North Sea. Just like the Bay of Biscay, the North Sea gets very stormy when it's winter. This is amplified by the sea's unusual shallowness, reaching as low as 100 feet in its southern reaches. When a sea is that shallow, it starts to act like a ramp for the waves traversing it. Pair this with the extremely strong hurricane-level winds the North Sea frequently experiences, and you get abnormally high tides. And if these tides occur in the middle of an ocean surge, things get dangerous, fast. On the 21st of December, 2023, the MS Maud was sailing 120 miles off the coast of Denmark when the massive rogue wave struck. The ship had weathered several large waves before this, but that was completely normal for that time of the year. But then, out of nowhere, a massive swell tens of feet high crashed into the ship, shattering some of its windows and causing it to tilt violently. Worst of all, it left the ship without power or a working navigation system. Thankfully, no serious injuries were sustained by the guests or crew, and the ship was safely towed to Germany a day later. This was nothing short of a miracle, as the situation could very easily have turned deadly. Three, Royal New Zealand Navy in the Southern Ocean. Our next encounter with the deep takes place on the opposite side of the world. Just like the North Pole, the waters of the South Pole are incredibly unstable. The Southern Ocean constantly experiences cyclone-level storms as a result of the stark temperature difference between the cold ice packs of the Antarctic ice shelf and the ocean waves. The waters would be dangerous enough already, but the Southern Ocean already has the strongest winds found anywhere on Earth. Not just that, any vessel navigating these treacherous waters needs to be wary of frequent icebergs and low surface temperatures. 
And if you encounter any danger here, you need to start praying because the Southern Ocean is the furthest part of the world from dry land. On December the 3rd, 2020, a warship of the Royal New Zealand Navy was sailing through a storm in the Southern Ocean in an attempt to weather the torrent. The ship was on a standard patrol against toothfish poaching. When out of the blue, a monstrous wave burst from the ocean and completely enveloped the ship from all sides. Even when it withdrew from the ship, it left the deck completely flooded. In the aftermath of the encounter, you can hear the alarms of the warship blaring as the crew members are requesting for backup. Four, Borgholm Dolphin Oil Rig in the North Sea. Just another day sailing the furious 50s. Our next monster wave takes us back to the North Sea. The North Sea is notorious for being one of the stormiest waters of planet Earth that we already knew. But this large expanse of water situated between several European countries is also extremely rich in minerals, particularly oil, leaving its waters teeming with oil rigs. Modern oil rigs are technological wonders designed with a sophisticated balancing system to keep it steady even in troubled waters. One particular massive oil rig would have this system tested in the stormy tides of the North Sea. The Borgholm Dolphin is an imposing floating vessel, the size of a big hotel on the waters. It was also 40 years old at the time of this close encounter with a mega wave at the start of 2015. Consistent with a pattern you'd have started to notice, Deep in the winter months, the towering accommodation vessel was attacked by a torrent of huge wave after huge wave. The sprawling rig was tossed like a small buoy in the stormy waters, tilted to the left and right, thrown upwards and then dragged downwards. The Borgholm Dolphin weathered the storm completely untouched, although we imagine more than a few crew members were left deeply shaken. Five. Storm Ophelia in Cape Cornwall. Our next mega wave takes us to the sleepy town of Cape Cornwall on the western coast of England. The small town to the west of Cornwall is mostly surrounded by incredibly temperamental waters, notorious for ushering in devastating storms to England's coast every other year. On the 6th of October 2017, Storm Ophelia was in full swing, with violently raging 60 mile per hour winds and massive waves wreaking havoc on the Cape's quaint shores. The hurricane was the worst to hit Ireland and the United Kingdom in 50 years, and also marked the end of 2017's incredibly devastating hurricane season. Cornwall was one of those few unlucky towns that bore the full brunt of the natural disaster. At Porthleven, roads were flooded and a few homes were damaged as the stormy waters overcame the town's coastal barriers and mercilessly ripped into the area. Violent of the storm was, it resulted in zero casualties for the inhabitants and even made it pretty exciting for the storm watchers who captured some of the storm's huge waves on film. Six, earthquake in the city of Kuji. The city of Kuji, Iwate wouldn't have such a happy ending though. Located on Japan's far Northeast, the small city is one of the tsunami prone areas of one of the most tsunami prone countries in the world. Tragedy would strike on March the 11th, 2011, when a magnitude 9 earthquake hit the coast of Honshu, Japan's largest island, triggering a series of large tsunamis along several of the country's major coastlines. At the heart of this disaster was the city of Kuji. In a video taken by an onlooker at the start of the storm, a tremendous wave can be seen approaching Kuji shores at hundreds of miles per hour. Far too late to escape, the ships trapped in the water made the difficult decision to face the tsunami's raging waters head on. The only real option they had if they wanted to survive. The succession of waves consumed all the ships in its sights before heading for land where the worst of the tragedy would take place. On the whole, this tsunami claimed about 20,000 lives. Seven, MV Arwen in the Black Sea. This last monster wave was caught on camera mere moments before disaster struck. 
The MV Arwen was originally built in 1971 as a lake freighter, designed for sailing in calm waters and not anywhere near the high seas. But over time, these small ships found their way to the temperamental waters of the Black Sea. One of the roughest seas on the Mediterranean, the Black Sea would put even the strongest ships to test with its massive waves. Needless to say, several of these freighters met a cold end in its unforgiving waters. The MV Arvin would meet the same fate on January the 16th, 2021. In a now viral video uploaded to YouTube, the cargo ship can be seen to be facing a barrage of strong waves in the middle of a particularly bad sea storm. The vessel looked like it would pull through until all of a sudden a humongous swell lifted up the ship and broke it in two clean pieces. Everything descends into chaos from then on, and one of the crew members can be heard frantically calling for help as the ship is sinking before his eyes. Of the 12 crew members aboard the ship, only six survived. Three bodies were recovered by the Turkish Coast Guard, and three were never found. It was a tragedy that shocked the world. Another fragile ship made victim to the Black Sea's waves. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more natural disaster content. Do you have any monster waves in mind that you think we should have covered? Leave it in the comments. Make sure to share the video with any and everyone you feel needs to see it. See you in the next one.